All right, everyone, here we go with the Friday reading. As usual, right? One card for each sign, splitting the soulmate cycle into 12 pieces. You know what? I'm just going to cut the deck here. I haven't done it yet. I always do this before I hit record. I just didn't get to it today. And then before I shuffle for the Friday reading, which usually doesn't have a pre-shuffle, I take a look at just what's at the bottom. It's a seven of wands. We're asking what they're thinking and feeling. What do you think? What does the seven of wands tell you? You know, I'm not going to energy read it for you. Just think about it. It's someone keeping their distance. It's a defensive energy. It can also be someone who wants to fight. So I don't know. You're going to have to take it as it resonates with you. You got a fighter or you got some kind of super fuck wet attached to you. I don't know. Let's find out. Let's shuffle the deck here. All right. It's a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you, but if the title brought you in here or you found Steve Love Tarot, you're here for a reason. This reading is timeless. Whenever you find it, you're meant to find it. FYI, not that, like, <laughs> not, not, not that like 9,000 people haven't found it already, but uh, my November 2024 write-up is in the blog right now. SLTblog.com. It's right there on the homepage. If it's not there and it still says October, just hit refresh or clear your cache, one or the other. Uh, anyway, I'll be starting your monthly fly-through for November on Sunday. Okay, look at that. Bottom of the deck, the overall energy as I wipe my nose, which is running like a DM this morning. Uh, is uh, the Hierophant. Oh, good news. What's, what's uh, in the Six of Cups? Yeah, there's a... Uh, usually when I see the Six of Cups fueling a Hierophant, I get somebody who's really feeling a loss or deep. It's sort of that nostalgia that brings a tear to your eye kind of a thing. Like you're remembering... You're not remembering bad times. You're remembering a good time. Like he's remembering this golden retriever way back here, but the dog isn't with him anymore. You know what I'm saying? Right? Okay. It's a bit of that. Okay. So we're asking what they're thinking and feeling. We only get the information if it's for the greater good. All right. Sometimes it's redacted, but so far the universe has been pretty chatty, I'd say. Uh, right here, a story starts with Aries, position one. I'm not your fucking astrologer. This ain't your horoscope. About nine out of the 12 should resonate. You can, I'm just using the signs as a reference point or a, a label for the energy. It's Aries energy. As we slice it up, this energy is, this flavor is cherry. This flavor is blueberry. This is et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Um, so first position is Aries and uh, it ends with Pisces, position 12. Like I said, about nine out of the 12 should resonate in some way. Okay. What, what, where are we going? Yeah, the King of Pentacles. We don't clarify this reading. Tomorrow we ask what, what actions they're likely to take and we clarify. We do the same thing, but we clarify. Um, and there's text at the top of the description to explain why there's no timestamps here for any newer people that come here. Uh, I got very quiet there, didn't I? I have to swim in this energy to pull these readings. The, the King of Pentacles, this is, uh, he's, he looks pretty peaceful, doesn't he? Somebody here is giving you some thought. I, I'm going to say what I said here. Often this first position ties very closely with the overall energy because obviously this was the card at the top of the deck, very top, when, so these would be crossing it technically. So you almost get a clarifier here with this one position. It's where the story starts. It's usually for a, almost everybody it does bookend the hot spot of the cycle. I would say somebody here it, it can't help but feel you right now. What that means, you're going to have to figure it out for yourself because there's, it means everything. All the energies are present. It depends if you've got a super fuck wit attached to you. It depends who you're here for. It depends who's coming in here for you. I don't control that. All right? But you're definitely on somebody's mind. I think with the King of Pentacles here, you would pick up on it a little bit. Right? You'd know. Okay? All right. Somebody's very much thinking about you. Okay. Something about the past. All right. Um, definitely something about the past. All right. When they got to see your golden retriever. Okay. Um, Taurus, position two. The moon. Uh, somebody's, it's, well, yeah. it's a bit of Nirvana's lithium kind of energy. It's come up quite a bit lately again. It used to come up a lot. It's a bit of the line in the song of I love you, but I'm not going to crack. You know, it's a bit of that. I miss you, but I'm not going to crack. They are sitting around feeling, but somebody here is, is pushing the love. This is my queen of cups. It's underwater. Um, they're afraid to admit that they got something wrong. I always in the Taurus position, position two, I get somebody who thought the grass was greener on the other side, right? Either you were with them and they ran or they just ran. You know, that it can go either way. Um, the problem is when we do that, when we admit that, the, when we say the grass is greener on the other side, I'm out of here. When we make a mistake, 
It really shows our vibration. High vibrational people are willing to admit, I'm going the wrong way, I need to turn back around, right? High vibrational people do not care about eating crow. They do not care about being wrong. They're not trying to prove to anybody they got a big brain or anything like that. High vibrational people will admit when they made a mistake and they fess up to their mistakes. This right, this right here is a low vibrational person that you're dealing with. I understand why you love them, maybe. I think you do. I think I can feel that. That's my Queen of Cups. It's the most love I can pull from the deck. And she underwater here. It's my Queen of Cups in this deck, the redhead. So that's how, it, that's how it reflects for me. So at the end of the day here, somebody here is afraid to, is afraid to let themselves feel what they feel for you. But again, everybody's person is, is they're not going to escape it, right? They are going to crack. <laughs> There's no way around it. Okay, I'm just explaining here. I think somebody needs to have a bit of a come to Jesus with themselves and pull their head out of their ass, all right? We don't, life's too short to not admit when you're wrong, especially about love, all right? It's way too short for that shit. All right, uh, position three, Gemini, seven swords. What's going on here? Somebody felt, oh, oh, shit. Somebody believed in some bullshit that came in. Somebody said some bullshit to this person that's attached to you, and they believe it. Was it about you? I don't know. It may be about themselves. It could go either way. Okay, either way, they believe in the bullshit. Oh, that's terrible. All right, whoever it is that fed them the bullshit is a very good liar. Whoever it is, is probably that King of Wands energy I often pick up around your person that controls them quite a bit. It could be that. All right? um, so they are thinking about you, but what they're thinking about is false. They're, they're, you know, it's like a math equation I tell you all the time. Math equation is like a string of math things. If the first equation is wrong, if the first thing is wrong, everything after it is also wrong. Right? So somebody here was fed 2 plus 2 equals 6, which is wrong. So everything that they're assuming, they're making assumptions and running with it, after that is wrong too. We'll see what actions they're going to take tomorrow. My guess is the actions that they take are based on those false assumptions. All right, book ending my King of Pentacles here. Over here is number four, position four, the Cancerian position, which is the hot spot, the theme energy of the cycle, something here for everybody, which is always why the first position, which ties to the overall energy, is for a lot of people too. Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands, Ace of Wands. While they're sitting here thinking and feeling, thinking back to your golden retriever. Ah, oh, I remember when I used to pet that fucker. Right? Thinking back to it. It could be your Irish setter or your fucking black lab. I don't know what you got. Right? Mexican hairless. I have no fucking idea. Don't care. They're thinking back to when they used to pet it. Male or female, it doesn't matter. Somebody here is thinking, getting a bright idea that they might want to come towards you. Everybody's person is thinking and feeling, uh, feel a little bit of a fire in the belly, all right? A little bit of a fire in the belly. But they all, on some level, want to take some Tums to get it to go down a little bit. I know I get a fire in my belly. Sometimes I take some calcium carbonate. That's kind of what they want to do here, a little bit. So that it's both. That's why this is flaring up and then it goes out. Flares up and then it goes out. Mm, all right. All of y'all people need to see a fucking doctor because that shit keep flaring up. You know, I mean, what's going on here? They need to see Dr. Love is who they need to see. Um, position five, Leo, my Leo soap opera. Didn't I just pull one of those recently? Yeah, that was a fun reading. It was a little bit. Somebody full of shit, right? Somebody, somebody was full of shit? I, I think so. Two of Cups. Yeah. Um, this, I, I've said this to you before. I think I've said it to Cancerian position too. This person... What are they thinking? That you're a soulmate. This person knows. There's something, and this came up in your recent fucking Leo soap opera. There's something you said to this person. Some of you may have actually said, you know, we're soulmates. And someday, 10 years from now, you're still going to be thinking about me. And you're going to be like, damn it. They were right. Steve's viewer was right. Somebody here is, picking, is figuring it out. I think they already figured it out a long time ago. Something's coming together. Your connection is completing a circuit inside this person. All right? It's a very balanced energy. Wonder twin powers are activating here. I don't see them doing anything about it, but we find out tomorrow and in in what actions they're going to take. I mean, I don't. I, I, I was honest with you in the Leo reading. I'm going to be honest here. This, I could say this is two soulmates coming together, but it, it, it is, but it feels more mental to me. It feels more 5D sort of a thing. Uh, this person, this person, way into you. This person needs you. Whoever this person is in the Leo soap opera for you, 
My most popular fucking readings, by the way. Every consistently, like, just, you know. It's just... This person. Ah, fuck you. May I? Right, there you go. Come on. Do something. I wish I could say it's tied to this. It's not. It's more tied to this right here and that. Okay? Uh, not that. This is its own little thing here. All right, position six, Virgo. Sometimes my wild cards, sometimes you guys show up here. You got to show up somewhere. Um, if I flipped the reading, it would be all of these would be for you, and then your person would have to show up somewhere, right? But in this case, we're doing it in the other direction. Uh, Five of Pentacles. Um, that's not you. That's someone attached to you. So you're not showing up here. You'll probably show up in position 11, my other wild card over here in Aquarius. Um, I mean, it, the card is self-explanatory. Somebody feels like they lost you. Somebody attached to you feels like they lost you. And that can mean anything. I know. It could be. It could be somebody. It could be you changed jobs and the person that had a crush on you goes, oh, no, I'll never find them again. It could be that long lost runner that you never think about anymore. They finally put it together that they missed out on something. Somebody just feels like they missed out on something, right? I mean, you were Camp Wallapalooza and they didn't go. You know, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's just the way it feels. Um, there is, for some of you, energy is always in layers. There's a very thin layer of energy, so it's probably just for a few of you that somebody's about to suffer a financial loss. If somebody comes to you for advice, hey, should I, maybe, you, I don't know, maybe you're a stockbroker watching, I don't know. Okay? Make your own decisions. I'm just saying uh, something looks good to somebody and you may have to tell them it doesn't look good. Please don't be afraid to do that. All right? Sometimes, well, it is what it is. You know? It is what it is. Uh, okay. I mean, I'm just saying it is. You're, you're well aware it's not good, whatever this is. If somebody comes to you for advice, you know that they're making a wrong decision. Whatever that advice is that you need to give, make sure you give honest advice. Okay? Uh, that energy will come back on you, and that will be you. That's your future right there. Um, that is a very thin layer of energy, though. That specific message is only for a couple of you. All right? Um, somebody about to make a huge mistake. Uh, position 7, Libra, Hermit. Mm. I got to take my time with this energy. There's a lot. It's tricky. The energy keeps moving. It's like trying to grab an eel. In front, out of a tank. It's like, oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. That's what the energy's like. The energy's like trying to grab an eel out of the fucking out of a fucking tank. And yes, I, I have had to do that. I worked for a little while at an aquarium store, right? And uh, You could buy, like, exotic fish and, and all that kind of stuff. The fucking eel, even with a net, the fucking eel is tough to get. I mean, it's crazy. Those fuckers will slip out of a fucking net. Um, this was a long time ago. It's like when I first got to California. I thought it would be a cool job to work by the beach at an aquarium store. I was wrong. Um, it's the hermit. <laughs> um, hmm. I want to say something profound like somebody's figured it out. Somebody's seen the light. Ting! About you. I don't. I think somebody's just not there. It's, it's the, I have a song for you if you want it. It's the zombies. She's not there. Right? Let me, let me it's just just go listen to it. it it's what it is it's, it's like it, it feels like almost you imagined the whole thing I know you didn't it's just what it feels like All right? maybe you're having a hard time finding somebody again somebody's having a hard time finding you um, this is more of a, the universe saying they need to go within whether they will or not I don't know I can't predict free will but the major arcana tells me the energy is there for them to go within Okay, so if they do, great. All right. Okay. Uh, position eight, my hot Scorpios. There it is. The card I show you where we started, right? Right after the cut. I showed you this. I said, what's it mean to you? So this tells me that this is for almost all of you. This is for a lot of people. A lot. Okay, never mind Scorpio. Oh, but he said Scorpio. I don't have Scorpio in my chart. And yeah, you sound like that. I've said, I'm not your astrologer. This ain't your fucking horoscope. Think of a, a ball of energy. Think of a pie of energy, and I'm just slicing it into 12 pieces so we could talk about each little thing. All right? So I'm about 9 out of the 12 slices will taste good to you. All right? Um, seven of Wands. You, there's something that is, I'm just going to say it, at the risk of getting yelled at, 
There's something about all of you that's very scary to someone attached to you right now. Not all people, okay? Don't come at me and go, oh, Mr. Jones at the grocery store was really nice to me. He did seem scared. I'm not talking about Mr. Jones at the fucking grocery store. I don't give a fuck about Mr. Jones at the grocery store. Someone attached to you, a very strong connection, all right, is holding back. They're like a little, you, you're like, uh, I don't know, to this person. And I'm going to tell you why that is. It's because it's whoever it is that you've focused too much energy on lately. You, you, whoever it is. And, and too much. What does too much mean? Well, too much is variable. It depends. For me, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a pretty powerful energy reader. So for me, focusing on somebody for a couple of minutes would be somebody else's too much energy. I can fucking direct energy like a motherfucker. So I, I don't know. I don't know who you are. I don't know how much energy you've got when you focus. I mean, when you, are you someone who dreams about things and then all of a sudden they fucking happen? Are you like an instant manifester like I am where you have to be careful what you daydream about? Are you about to live it? Right? I mean, you know, it is what it is. So, whoever this is, it's causing an energy. It's causing them to question your energy. All right? So try... The best thing to do, rather than try and figure out who I'm talking about, all right, is just put, put don't, don't think about anybody. Focus on you. Turn your energy inward. All right? Be a little bit creatively selfish and focus on you. And that should lighten this energy quite a bit and bring, probably bring this person towards you, which, which would be nice because Mr. Jones at the grocery store sounds boring as fuck. All right? It probably ain't going to bang you. All right. Done. Uh, Sexeteria, why is my nose running so much? Like, what the hell's going on? I got to look at what the Geek Station, to my wife calls it the Geek Station 2000. I got one of them weather things so I can track the energy. Eh, it shouldn't be. I shouldn't be having nose running right now. I should be fine. Um, <laughs> Sagittarius, Sexetarians, position nine, sometimes separate from the cycle, sometimes part of it. I don't know. I, I, you know, it's a pretty powerful card to be separate from the cycle, isn't it? Judgment. I, say, I always say judgment don't come out for a bang in a bar parking lot. I'm going to say this is part of the cycle. I'm going to say this, this pertains to the cycle. And I'm going to say... Well, first of all, you're a very impressive smoker. I mean, I, I used to be able to blow a ring, but I could never blow something like that. That's fucking wild. All right? I definitely want you as entertainment at my house the next time I have a party. But... I do want to tell you here, this is this is your energy here. You've got, well, it's quite literal. It feels like there's something that you think or will think in the near future you need to make a judgment call on, okay? I'm telling you, you don't. You know exactly what to do. It's not a, it, you could be, you need to trust your instincts, all right? Whatever it is, you need to trust your instincts. Um, there's There's an opportunity that's returning. All, right. All I can tell you is trust your instincts about it. The energy wants you. I don't think it's a person. I think it's an opportunity. Energy, everything is energy. So I think what I'm picking up on is an opportunity that is now dialed into your frequency is returning. It's just the way it is. So you've got some kind of opportunity that's coming back. Could be an opportunity with a person, but I'm picking up more on the opportunity energy. And I don't want you to look at it as I need to make a judgment call. Okay, I don't. A judgment call is like someone. Well, I don't know what's going to happen. Ah, fuck it. I'll just. I'll try. You know, something like that. You you could be more sure of your intuition. All right. You know, you'll know exactly what to do within two or three seconds. Trust that. All right. Do what you want to do. Make your own decisions. Hey, psh, I'm just a talking hand on a video, but I think this is near future. I think I'm just picking up on it right now. Okay. Uh, near future. I don't know what that means. Uh, no more than a few weeks, a month, maybe. On the top side, it could, could happen right now for some of you. Uh, you could be right in the middle of this. Oh my God, Steve. I was right in the middle of making a judgment call about Mr. Jones from the grocery store. And, and, and here you are. Right. Okay, fine. Trust your intuition on that. All right. All right, here we go. Uh, Capricorn position. Damn, this is, I can't, I'm going to write this down because I want to get more about this tomorrow. I'm going to put it on my post it note. Yeah. Okay. Capricorn position 10. Um, nine of cups. I, I very rarely say this, especially in a Friday reading. It's communication, right? I know. 
Fucking tarot readers all over YouTube get big wood when they can say communication. When the Eight of Wands comes out, it's like, cha-ching! The Eight of Wands, woo! -hoo! People are gonna watch the video, hope that's the thumbnail, right? Now, this is better than the Eight of Wands. This is something you've really, fuck, someone you've really wanted to talk to now wants to talk to you. It's very, very, very clear. The energies have lined up. You're about to have a conversation with somebody. They're thinking about what to say to you. They're thinking about. They're thinking. I'd really like to talk to Capricorn. It's better than popcorn. Steve from Steve Love Tarot is right. All right, that's what's here. Take it or leave it. It sounds a little rainbow unicorn. Even I'll admit it. I got nothing bad to say on it. Uh, sometimes you Rolling Stones sang. Sometimes you, you you can't always get what you want, but sometimes you get what you need. You're actually getting what you what what you want. Absolutely, proven Mick Jagger wrong here. All right, um, the energy's there for it. Anyway, um, I think this per this energy has changed its opinion about you in some way. I think now they see that maybe uh, it might be the way I pick up the energy. It might be somebody who thought, oh, you, you maybe you each thought this. I don't know that you know. There's something that irritates them about you, or there's nothing you can do for them, or nothing. There's no point in having this person in my life. There's a bit of that. Okay, I think the opinion on the si on the incoming energy side has changed about that. All right, all right. that's all I can say. Uh, Aquarius position eleven, my other wild card spot. You guys should show up here, and there you are. It's the magician. Yeah, major arcana. Um, be uh, yeah. It's a bit. Of, pay attention to what I said here, because this was for a lot of you. You guys showed up here, right? This is you're a very powerful manifester right now, and it doesn't surprise me with eleven eleven portal coming up. Read my write-up in the SLT blog for the month of November. Pay attention to your November readings. The 1111 portal energy is the energetic new year. It kicks around. It's one of the most powerful times of the year to manifest things. You're already pretty good at it. You're, your energy is already there. And this is quite a Scorpio season we're in. Okay, so be careful about that. Um, you're calling something in. Okay? Well, why am I telling you that? Well, what the fuck is that, Steve? I'm just telling you. You're calling something in. I said, pay attention to what to hear, right? I asked all kinds of questions. I said, are you, are you like me, one of those people, you have an innocent daydream about something and all of a sudden it happens? You know, like that. I'm, I am the, known among all my friends. They call it Steve's luck. It's not luck. It's just I have this instant manifestation superpower. It, it really is. It, it blows my mind. I don't like it. Because I have to be careful what I feel and what I put out there. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. This right here, you're calling something in. Be aware. Take a audit. Take some inventory on your thoughts and feelings. Primarily feelings, because that's what we manifest with. Thoughts don't really mean a whole lot unless feelings are attached to them, right? You could stand in the mirror all day and say, I'm great. I'm terrific. My daily affirmation, I am fucking awesome. If you don't believe it, if you don't feel it in your soul, then it's just fucking lip service to a fucking mirror. It doesn't do anything for you. Take an audit of what you're putting out there emotionally, okay? Because you're calling something in. For some of you, it's wonderful. You'll be like, oh, cool. For others of you, it's oh, fuck, right? So be careful. You're like a sorcerer here who's completely unaware of their power. The sorcerer's apprentice all of a sudden, you know doing some crazy things. You got a lot of power right now. Be careful. You got to keep it in check. You're manifesting like crazy. Pay attention to this and this and what I said here. Okay. Position 12, Pisces, always read with position 1 and 5. Don't ask me about 5, but so far so good. Two of Cups is there. Page of Pentacles. Mm. You have someone attached to you. I don't think it's a long, your long lost runner or something like that. I think it's a smaller energy. I get that as, you know, in part because it's a page kind of a thing. Somebody thinks there's some, somebody attached to you is thinking and feeling that they can learn something for, from you. Okay? I don't know. You're, you're somebody's Mr. Miyagi. You're somebody's more like not Mr. Miyagi. It feels more like Doc Brown on Back to the Future. You know, you, you kind of, it's a little of that. It's a little strange. I think you know who this person is. It's someone who would be younger than you that's hanging around you and it just hangs around. 
They just ask a lot of questions and hang around. Might even seem like they're annoyed by you. That's why I said the, the, it's more like Doc Brown kind of a thing. Where Marty was often annoyed, you know, kind of a thing. Looking at him crazy like, what the fuck are you doing? You know, that kind of thing. Um, it's a bit of that. Uh, you have a soul connection with this person. That's why it's coming up. And that's why you might have suspected that. The universe wants you to know you have a soul connection with this person, whoever it is, for some reason. Everything happens for a reason. I don't know why it's good that you know it. If it's something you suspected, then it's confirmed. It could be a child. It could be somebody's kid. You go over to your friend's house, they got a kid. This kid just follows you around, asks you all kinds of questions, what you've been doing, all that kind of stuff. There's, there's a connection there, right? And you do have something to teach that person. So I suggest you be the teacher, all right? I suggest you be the benevolent, kind energy. Okay. All right. Let's uh, have the universe add all this up. That's what it is. That's what I got. That's that's what's attached to you. That person right now is processing a lot of uh, processing a whole lot of you, whoever it is. All right. Let's have the universe add all this up. All twelve slices of the pie. Tell me what kind of pie this is, universe. Right? What is it? Let's go. All twelve slices. Mm. Let's see where we're at. I just leaned back to check if I closed my window or not. When I did the unplanned reading the other day, I accidentally left my window open. So like the whole, you know, I get Preacher Steve sometimes, especially in the extended, and like the whole neighborhood heard, what was going on at your place yesterday? Was there a, you know, it's like, oh God, all right. <laughs> yeah, I had Bishop Sims over and he was talking to the, you know, <laughs> to the parrot or something. I was like, oh shit. Never leave the window open when you do a reading, dumbass. All right, here we go. <laughs> What's going on here? Add it up. Three cards and a bottom card. Window closed today. There it is. Bottom card's judgment. Yeah, I had that here. I said it was part of the cycle. Now, a lot of you need to trust your intuition. A lot of you obviously have something coming back, something returning. There's some unfinished business with somebody, and that those energies are lining up right now because they're thinking and feeling all about you. Okay? Whoever it is. And if you don't know who it is, you best fucking figure it out in advance. Alright? Play chess, not checkers. I talked about that a little bit. I didn't say it exactly like that. But I talked about it a little bit toward the end of my November write-up. Where I talked about how Pluto's going to help us, the answers are there, all that kind of stuff. It's about, you know, you can, you can get an advance notice. Everything is Schrodinger's cat, yes. But you can get a little advance warning on which fucking timeline you're on. If you just pay attention to the energy around you, all right? So, you're getting this information for a reason. Uh, what's going on? You got some unfinished business with somebody. It may not be who you think it is, though. For some of you, keep that in mind. Be open-minded. Don't assume you know who the readings are about. Not mine, anyway. And somebody else's, whatever you want to do with it, it's not my problem. But, yeah, seven of pentacles, seven of wands, and the two of wands. Uh, what's fueling that judgment? High Priestess. What did I just get done? I, we didn't know that was there, and you know I didn't. What did, I, what did we just get done talking about, about you trusting your intuition? What did we just say? Huh? High Priestess right there. Did not know that was there. Judgment crossing the karma, really. Unfinished business crossing the Seven of Wands. It's tied to this Seven of Wands. It's too many Seven of Wands. Too many times that card's come up. And, and this is very important. What I said here, and I don't remember what I said, so I can't repeat it. Rewind. Pay attention to what I said here. This unfinished karma, unfinished business with whoever this is that you're keeping at bay by spending too much energy on them. Okay? We need to take care of it. The energy is right to take care of it and move on. All right? Very important. This is important. This is important. These are very important cards. Two very important positions. I will put them both on my post-it note. And tomorrow in the weekly reading, we will, so I remember, I will... You know, try to get a little more info. Tomorrow in the weekly reading, we ask what actions they're likely to take. Right? We're asking the universe to be a bit more predictive um, rather than tell us something that we either need to know or don't need to know. It's not for the greater good. We don't get this information. But apparently it was. Mm, that's your reading. I hope it was helpful. All right? Uh, if you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, and everybody who watches. All right. Good luck.